Hi, my name's Daniel. Hi, my name is Josh. Hey, my name's Claire, and we're the co-organizers of AD Auckland, so you'll see one of us, if not all of us, at each cube. So this is the location that we're normally based. It's outside ANZ. It's on the corner of Victoria and Queen Street. This is the what it usually looks like. So this is a two-person per side cube. Sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it can be larger. But basically there's two roles. So there are cubers who are standing here. All you have to do is have a mask on and hold a laptop or a sign. It's really easy. We do also have outreaches, which um, you can see someone's having a conversation over there. That is optional. There are two requirements for doing so. One is that you're vegan. One is that you are confident in doing so. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is just come along, um, give it a try. You can stand in the cube. And you can see it for the first time in many cases. And you know it inspires good conversations, good uh, potential new vegans. We are all volunteers here. This wouldn't happen if we didn't have volunteers turn up. So today we've got like over 20 volunteers that turned up, including us organizers. If you do come along to the cube, um, please do come along in black clothing or as close to black as possible. Uh, this is just really important for the aesthetic of the cube. Um, and if you do have a device, please um, put the footage on it and bring that along as well because I mean, Basically, this event is made possible by the volunteers and, and their participation as well as what they bring along. If you're a little bit nervous to come along, then uh, maybe uh, get in touch with one of us three organizers. Otherwise, you can find a friend who wants to come along with you. Just anything that makes it a bit more comfortable. We're all super welcoming. Um, just say hi to us when you turn up. So a lot of people are under the impression that being in a cube of truth means that you have to be in the queue for the whole time, which is totally not true. You guys are welcome to have breaks whenever you need, just by popping your hand up and an outreacher will come around and swap you out. So other jobs that you could be doing is minding the table. We've got a table over here, just got some more outreach materials, a virtual reality headset, and just minding people's bags. And also you can just take a break, you know, you can just stand around and, and watch the demonstration. Or you don't even have to participate in the cube or the outreach at all, you can just observe. We've got quite a nice group of people who come, um, regulars, so it'd be really nice if you can come and join the group. Or if you're, you know, too nervous to come to an active event, which I totally understand, then you can just come along to one of our social events afterwards. We often have dinners, we go to like Lord of the Fries or Zambreros. Come, meet the crew, talk about the experience, and then maybe you can come to one next time.